knowledge Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you, brothers and sisters. Just to <clears throat> remind you, brothers and sisters, for the study of Book 3, the help of Hallu Tamarin is extremely important. Huh? So always refer sometimes if you are confused and if you cannot find the answers. Refer to Hallo Tamarin of Book 3. You will notice this from this lesson that how helpful Hallo Tamarin becomes, you know, in order to understand it correctly, the concept, and in order to write correctly the answers, you know. Yesterday we went through the Damayar, brothers and sisters. The new thing that we are learning here is uh, Damirun Nasbi Al Munfasil, uh, which is Iyahu, Iyahuma, okay. And then we were trying to understand that there are certain conditions. Uh, if those conditions are present, then that Damir has to be used, no other Damir. Uh, and so, what are those conditions? We remember that if it is from the same category of, or same class, uh, if the two 
pronouns are coming as a mafulun bihi uh, from the same category, which is how many categories are there? Three. What is it? Damir Ghaib, Huwa Humahum, Damir Mukhatab, Anta Antum Antum, and then Damir Matakalib. So these are three categories. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So if the Damir, two of them come together from the same category, then one will be the normal, uh, and the second will be Munfasil. In other words, the one will be Muttasil, the one Damir will be Muttasil, and the second Damir will be Munfasil. Huh? Are you with me? You have to understand this. Huh? Then, if a Damir Muttasil comes, followed by Harfu Atfin, then the next Damir, which is Mautufun ala, what is before that, has to be Munfasil. After Harfu Harfu Atfin. After Harfu Atfin. Eh? Inshallah, we'll practice. Eh? Everything is mentioned in the key. Eh? Do not get confused with key for book three and Hallo Tamari. Eh? Two separate things. Then the third thing we studied that it will come after Illa. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Eh? La Nabudu. Illa Yahu. Okay. Then the fourth thing we studied that normally the mafulun bihi comes after the fiel. But if the mafulun bihi precedes the fiel, if the mafulun bihi precedes the fiel, comes before it, then it has to be then it has to be munfasil. Iyaka huh? nabudu. We can say nabuduka. Now we want to bring that ka, which is muttasil, into front. There is no way ka can come. But when we join ka with iya, then it can come in the front. Iya ka nabudu. Huh? And then there was one more thing, <coughs> which I said, it's a hard check piece. And uh, I didn't do it yesterday, but today inshallah. We will try to understand that. And that is, you know, when there is a master. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? When there is a master and there is a maf'ulun bihi for the master. Now this is absolutely, uh, totally a new concept. We are used to having maf'ulun bihi coming after verb. Huh? Now, in our advanced studies, we will come to learn that there can be a mafulun bihi for the master. It's all in the Quran. And then, I also said, since we are doing that, I will give you a little hint of a mafulun bihi coming for ismu fa'il. Huh? And mafulun bihi can come for ismu maf'ul. These are totally new things for us. But all these examples are present in the Quran. So inshallah, when uh, we study and we refer to Quran, things will become more clear. Mind you, <clears throat> still the most frequent mafulun bihi will be after the verb. But sometimes it can come Mafulun bihi can come for master. And mafulun bihi can come for ism file. And mafulun bihi can come for ism mafool. Huh? I want you to go to page number. We start after the exercise, you know. We go to section 2. 232. Page number 232. That is in the new book. But since I have a very old book with me, my pages are different, you know. Are you with me? Number two. Ad-Damiru imma muttasilun wa imma munfasilun. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Huh? Page number 
فَالْدَّمِيرُ الْمُنْفَسِلْ مَا يَبْدَهُ بِهِ فِي النُّتْكِ What is nutki, brother? Speech. Huh? Talk. Okay. What? You start with your speech. That dhamir will be munfasil. Example, brother and sisters. Huwa humahum. Huh? Ana Muslimun. Okay. Then there's another condition. Wa yakau bada illa. What is the meaning of yakau? What is the verb? Waka. Al misal al wawi. What is the meaning of waka? It has got many meanings to fall, to fall down. Or also to occur, to happen. Huh? It occurs bada illa. Okay. Ma fahimat darsa illa anta. Now anta is munfasil, but it came after illa. Either it will come in the beginning or it will come after illa. Now that was. Brothers and sisters, Dami Rafa. Now, if it is Dami Nasab, then it is like Iyaka Raitu. So Iyaka is independent, comes in the beginning. Again, Ma Raitu Illa Iyaka. So again, the Damir came, Munfasil came after Illa. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Number three, brothers and sisters, Iyaka Raitu. Why it is Iyaka used and not Ka? Because it came before the verb. Huh? Huh? You can remember that. Huh? Fine. And after Illa, Iyaka came. Huh? So, Iyaka is still mafulun bi fa raitu. But if you use illa, then you cannot use ka alone. It has to be Iyaka. These are very simple rules, brothers and sisters. Very, very simple rules. In fact, you will enjoy studying this lesson very much. And it will give us a lot of information which will help us to understand Quran even Better, inshallah. Wa dhamirul muttasil ma la. Ma la. Ma his allazi. La yabdahu bihi fin nutki. It does not come in the beginning. Wa la yakahu ba'da illa. It cannot come after illa. The dhamir muttasil cannot come in the beginning. It cannot come after illa. Katai. Well, hi, fi raituhu. See, tu has come afterwards. And who has come afterwards? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What is tu here? File. No, file, but damir. It's damir. Is it marfu? Yes. Huh? But it came afterwards. It has to be joined. It has to be connected. And what is who? Mafulun bi. But it has to be connected. Huh? Fine, brother. Now, next one, brother, we all know it. Dhamayr Rafi Al Munfasila. This we studied in book one with a little song. Hua Humahum. Hua Humahum. Hia Humahunna. Hua Humahum. Hia Humahunna. Anta yantum ma yantum Anta yantum ma yantum Anti yantum ma yantum na Anti yantum ma yantum na Ana nahnu 
انا نحن هو هما هم هي هما هنا هو هما هم هي هما هنا fine brothers and sisters now comes very important thing please pay attention you already know it it's a excellent revision for us we are still talking about now tamair rafi al muttasila connected huh? attached huh? here are the details brother look at it carefully tau faili al mutaharrik huh? mutaharrik huh? it means it will have a vowel sign on it tau al faili al mutaharrikat now kama fi zahabtu zahabti and zahabta so these ta ti tu these are all mutasil and at the same times they are marfu hmm? fine now it is zahabtuma in the beginning of the course you know we used to say take tuma as a file for the sake of simplicity are you with me but today we must decide huh? and understand what is tuma tu is the file there is the file tu and what is this ma doing here ma is alamatu tasniya what is it alamatu tasniya it tells us that it is dual got the idea so if if i say zahab tu where is the file tu if i say zahab tuma where is the file tu not the tuma what is ma then it is sign of musanna what is it ha huh? what will you say alamatu tasniyati maybe i should write it huh? got the idea brother what is that that is ma in tuma ha huh? got the idea brother and sisters okay now we come to next one brother and sisters zahab tum where is the file tu and this is what is mean alamatu jama ha huh? will you be able to write it alamatu jama very good huh? and zahab tunna where is the file tu huh? highlight it brothers and sisters highlight it only tu huh? and then what is this noon doing here it is alamatu jama but muannas alamatu jamai al muannasi got the idea no this is in detail we are learning huh? okay very good brother alif ul isnaini kama fi zahaba zahaba is madi brother so where is the file alif but this is damir what is it damir ha huh, brother and sisters okay and it is marfu ha huh? so what will you say adamir rafai muttasil but now we are really going deeper huh? and then zahabta again the alif is your file it is your damir and it is damir rafi al muttasil yazhabani same thing where is the file alif which is we call it alif musanna okay and that is your file but what is it damir rafi al muttasil tazabani got the idea and then izhaba what is izhaba amar 
Fellow Amrin. So what is this Alif? That is your file. File. Huh? That is your file. So, brother and sister, it is your Damir Rafi Al Muttasil. Got the idea? Very good. Waul Jamaati. Kamafi Zahabu. Yazabuna and Idhabu. Tazhabuna is not mentioned, but we know it. But what is Idhabu? Amar. Are you? So where is the file? Wow. wow. And what is that wow? It's a Damir. Huh? Damir Muttasil. It's Damir Rafi. Yaw Muhatabi. Okay. Tazabina. See? So that is the same thing. It is your file. It is your Damir Rafi Al Muttasil. Is habi, what is is habi? Amar. Again the file is Damir Muttasil, but it is Marfu. You know, I'm sure every one of us understands, because we have been doing this for the past few months, so you should be very strong. Nunu Niswati, Kamafi, Zahabna, Yazhabna, Izhabna. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Very good. So these are all Damiru Raf Al Muttasil. Na Kamafi Zahabna. So that Na is your file, it is a Damir, it's a Muttasil, and it is Marfu. Fine. Damairu Naspi Al Munfasila. Brother? We did yesterday, okay? Yahu, Yahuma. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? You got to memorize it now. It's very easy. If you follow the song and hum it, inshallah, you will have no problem. I'll do one more time, brothers and sisters. Yahu, Yahuma, Yahum. Yaha, Yahuma, Yahuna. Iyaka Iyakuma Iyakum Iyaki Iyakuma Iyakunna Iyaya Iyana Alhamdulillah. Okay. No, brothers and sisters, Damayun Nasbi Al Muttasila. Very beautiful example Dr. Sahib has given. Sa'alahu, Sa'alahuma. So you are using the verb, he asked. He asked her, he asked two of them, he asked them, he asked you. Are you with me? And finally, Sa'alani, he asked me. And then Sa'alana, he asked us. Huh? So it's very simple, huh? inshallah. Then Dr. Sahib is mentioning Damirun Nasbil Muttasil Lil Mutakallim Ya Fakat Amma Nunu Fayuta Bihi Li Vikayati It is brought for protection. Ma Kablaha Min Kasri Okay? It is uh, brought down to protect the word from getting it a Kasra. Then noon gets the kasra. Okay, but then she said, what is samma? And it is called noon vikaya. Got the idea, but then sisters? The mayar jar. La tati illa muttasilan. It does not come except as attached. Muttasil. Huh? That's it. Huh? And you know. Huh? Rabbuhu, Rabbuhuma, Kitabuhu, Kitabuhuma, Dinuhu, Dinuhuma, Baituhu, Baituhuma, like that, brothers and sisters. And also, Minhu, Minhuma, Lahu, Lahuma, Laka, Lakuma, Laki, Li, Lana, all these are, uh, these are Damair, Jar, Al Muttasila. Fine, brothers and sisters. 
Now comes number three. Now this is where we have to pay a little more attention, brothers and sisters. Yota bi damirun nasp munfasila. Munfasila. Okay. When is it brought? Huh? When do you bring that? Iza kana mafulan bihi. It will come. It is brought. Okay. Iza kana. If it is mafulun bihi. Wa takaddama ala fi'alihi. And it precedes the verb. Its verb. Huh? It precedes its verb. Nahu. Iyaka na'budu. Fine. Is when asluhu nabudu ka. Here is whether something that she will have to pay attention. Is a waka mafulan. Li mastarin. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? If it occurs as a mafulun bihi for the master. Mudafin. Hmm? Ila fa'ilihi. Are you with me? Mudafin. Ila fa'ilihi. Now that master, that master is mudaf. And then that fa'il is mudaf ilihi. Now this is a hard chickpea. But inshallah, if we ponder over it and think about it, you will be able to understand it. Nahu Ziyaratul Mudiri Iyana Brothers and sisters, tell me Ziyaratul Mudiri Mudafilai Mudaf, Mudafilai What is Ziyaratul? Master. And Al-Mudiri is Mudafili. Okay? The Mudir is Mudafili. But actually it is the file. Huh? And Master is the Mudaf. How do I understand this? Sounds complicated. But inshallah, if we break it down, okay, then you will understand. Huh? Now remember, as you will study Quran constantly, inshallah, consistently, inshallah, and you will be reading more books in Arabic, you will come across these situations. I do not expect that you will be able to do each and every sentence that will come in front of you that way. But slowly and slowly you will be. You will master it, inshallah. Let us see the example. Uh, and then we break it down. Okay? Fine, brothers and sisters. I'm going to write down. Huh? First, brothers and sisters, you have to understand that Damir Nas Munfasil is Mafulun Bihi for Master. Now, and the Master is the Mudaf, and then the file of the verb is Mudafilihi. I don't see as a file here. But if I say like this, now what sh alamat shall I give? Yazuruna al mudi. Ru has to be ru. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? 
Yazuruna al mudiru. Is it mudiru file? Now change Yazuru into Master. What is the Master of Zara Yazuru? Ziyarat. So it became Ziyaratul Mudiri. Huh? Are you with me? This became Ziyaratu Al Mudiri. Huh? And then Na came out as a Munfasil. Iyana. Huh? Again, I repeat, brothers and sisters, Ziyaratul Mudiri, Mudiri is Mudafilihi, and the Master is Mudaf. Okay. But actually, the Mudafilihi is the file. If you change the Master back, so I repeat again, brothers and sisters, Ziyaratul Mudiri, the Master is Mudaf and Mudaf Ilehi is Mudir, but that Mudir is actually the file of the verb. Which verb? If you take the master and change into verb, then, then Mudir is the file. Huh? Example huh? Yazuru Na Al Mudiru. You can also say if you want to Yazuru Al Mudiru Iyana. If you want to, but the better will be Yazuruna Al Mudiru. So, what is Al Mudir? File. Huh? File. Huh? But when you change Yazuru into Ziyara, then it became Ziyaratul Mudiri, Iyana. The visit of the Mudir to us. Got the idea? That is what is the meaning of this sentence, brother. There is another sentence coming. Then what is that, brother? Darbuka. Iaya ashaddu min darbi iaka. Brothers and sisters, this is another tough thing. But as I said to you, you may not be able to change the master into verb quickly, but don't worry. Understanding is extremely important. So what is it now, brothers and sisters? Darbuka Iyaya. Are you with me? Darbuka Iyaya. Now I'm changing. What is it? Daraptani. You hit me. So darbuka iaya means you're hitting me. Daraptani, you hit me. Huh? And then what will you say? Ashaddu was more severe. Huh? Then you will say min. Huh? And then you will say min. And again, you will here put ma, which will be mim ma. Now, this ma is mastariya, brother and sisters. But I am not going in detail. Min ma. Got the idea? Write it down, brother and sisters. Daraptani When you will say Daraptani then you will change Ashaddu into Ashadda Got the idea brothers and sisters? Mimma Daraptuka I'm only pointing your attention to this now. Darbuka. 
What is darbu kya brothers and sisters? Mudaf, mudaf, mudaf. Sahi? No. No. If I tell you ka is the fahil, you will say ka is the fahil? Huh? How? We change that. Darbu ka iyaya, we change that to daraptani. So that ka change into ta. Huh? Are you with me? Okay, fine. Please try to read it a few times. Inshallah, you will understand. Okay. Since we have to understand some concepts, will take a little longer to sink in our mind, but eventually it will sink. When you will see more examples like this, brother, what will you say? I know it. It is the master huh? and it has mafulun bihi. You will say, there is a mafulun bihi for master. Huh? Okay. I'm now sidetracking you, brothers and sisters. Uh, I'm sidetracking you now. I said to you, there can be a mafulun bihi for master. There can be mafulun bihi for ism file. There can be mafulun bihi for ism maful. Now, I have a beautiful example of ism file uh, having a mafulun bihi. Very beautiful example. I would request you to memorize this verse. I found this to be the easiest verse to memorize, even though it is long. You know why it is easy? Because you understand what you are saying. Once you understand what you are saying, then the, you can memorize the Quran with ease. So here is another advantage of our studying the Arabic language. That when you will try to memorize, the memorization of the Quran will become very easy for you. Hmm? Extremely easy for you, uh, the memorization of the Quran. Why? Because you understand what you are memorizing. Huh? And makes it interesting, not boring. Brothers and sisters, this is the one uh, verse in the Quran in which ten... Ten ism file are used, both mudhakkar and manas. So this is a very unique verse. Huh? Okay, it starts with inna. I think most of you may know it. Huh? Inna. Okay, so inna al muslimina. What did he say? What did I say? Inna al musli. Mina, wal musli mati. But then, brother, you continue. Wal mu'minina, wal mu'minati, wal kanitina, wal kanitati, wa sadiqina, wa sadiqati, wa sabirina, wa sabirati, wal khashiina, wal khashiati, wal mutasaddiqina, wal mutasaddiqati. وَسَعِمِينَ وَسَعِمَاتِ And then, وَالْحَافِذِينَ فُرُوجَهُمْ Brother, what is this? Huh? Okay. وَالْحَافِذِينَ فُرُوجَهُمْ Brother, what is this furuja? Mafu, but I don't see the verb. This is mafulun bihi for ism file. Mafulun bihi for ism file. Are you with me? The next, wazakirin uh, Allah. Again, the same thing. Wazakirin. Huh? Allah. Ha! But brother, why Allah? I don't see any verb there. So this is mafulun bihi. List me file. What is it? For the ism file. This is a beautiful, beautiful verse, brothers and sisters. Try to study at home and try to memorize it. 
Are you with me? Try. It's very easy to memorize, brother. Listen. You know, sometimes we find difficult to memorize Quran. I find that no longer it is difficult. Once I understand, it makes very easy and it's fun to memorize. Because then you can say those verses in your salah. Huh? You can say it all the time, brothers and sisters. Huh? Instead of saying just few short surahs in your salah, repeating it thousands and thousands of times, we change it. We say different verses in our salah. So brother, can you see? No, you can easily understand that. Huh? These are all ism file. How they are made, you can easily say which verb uh, they are representing. Hmm? And at the same time, we have to make it jama. Al-Muslimu will become Al-Muslimuna. Huh? Make it monas. Al-Muslimatu. Now bring it in. So you will say, Innal Muslimina. Jama Muzakar Salam. Now it is Mansu. And then, Wal Muslima Ti. Why Ti? Mansu. Why do you give a Kasra? Jama See, now you know all these rules and regulations. So then, brother, if you think the sequence in your mind, it's all memorized. Huh? Are you with me, brother and sister? Let's do it one more time. All of us, look at this and try to say it. Inna al-Muslimina wal-Muslimati wal-Mu'minina wal-Mu'minati wal-Kanitina wal-Kanitati wal-Sadiqina wal-Sadiqati wal-Sabirina wal-Sabirati wal-Khashi'ina wal-Khashi'ati wal-Mutasaddiqina وَالْمُتَصَدِّكَاتِ وَسَائِمِينَ وَسَائِمَاتِ وَالْحَافِذِينَ فُرُوجَهُمْ Immediately this strikes. Hey, hey, what is this furuja? How, why it is mansu? The answer is, it's mafulun bihi. So where is the verb? No, it is not the verb. It is the ism file which made it mafulun bihi. Got a mafulun bihi. So, وَحَافِذِينَ فُرُوجَهُمْ And then, وَالْحَافِ ذَاتِ وَزَاكِرِينَ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا مَفُولٌ مطلق What is the actual? وَزَاكِرِينَ اللَّهَ ذِكْرًا كَثِيرًا See, see the beauty, brother. Can you translate this? No. You got to understand it directly. وَزَاكِرَاتِ huh? Okay, brother. Now I ask you one question. Inna. What is inna? Harfu tawkid and nasbin. Where is ismu inna? Musli mean. Huh? Is it mansu? Yes. Alamatu nasbihi al yaw. Li annahu jama zakar salam. Well, muslimati. What is muslimati? Also mansu, but mautufun ala muslimina. And then if you say, well, mu'minina. That is Mautufunala Muslim Mina. So everything is Mautufunala Muslim Mina. Got the idea? Brothers and sisters, where is the Khabarina? Huh? Now comes the Khabarina. See, Khabarina came after half a kilometer. It is away from the Ismu Inna. Huh? So the Khabar is, brothers and sisters, Adallahu lakum, lahum, lahum. What is Allah prepared for them? Magfiratan wa ajran adiman. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Adda. What kind of a verb is this? Form 4. What is the meaning of it? To prepare. Huh? Okay? For everybody who's mentioned. See, this is a unique verse because in this work, both Muzakkar and Monas are mentioned side by side. Huh? And then Allah says, truly the one 
who's Muslim and Muslima and Mu'min and Mu'mina, for them, for them Allah has prepared. What has Allah prepared? Ahad Allahu lahum for them. What has Allah prepared for them? Maghfirah. And more than that, Ajran. So what is Ajran? Mautufun ala Maghfira. Wow, came. Got the idea? Ajran Azim. Okay. So see, now you are understanding directly, brother. Now when you will read this, and inshallah you will memorize it, because this is very easy to memorize. Each and every word you understand. Aadda you understand. Okay. Ajran, you understand. Aziman, not, you understand. So the point, you know, is to understand that there is a mafulun bihi and it is because of ism file. Got the idea? Similarly, there will be a mafulun bihi for ism maful. Inshallah, I'll bring the example to you. And then there is a mafulun bihi for master. Got the idea? No, we will be watching huh, in our future studies. It will come and you will notice it. Huh? Because it is the habit of Dr. Saab that once he brings in a concept, then he repeats it. You know, further down the lesson, it will come to us, inshallah. Got the idea, one sister? So watch for mafulun bihi for master. Now, it is easy to identify it because it will be Damir Nasb Munfasila. Huh? It will be Munfasila. Which means it will be in the form of Iyahu, Iyana, Iyaya, like that. So it will be easy, inshallah.